Hey guys, this is Jason from the Glamping Guys YouTube channel, and I have got such a special treat today. I am so humbled, honored, and privileged to actually do my very first interview with some glampers who found me at this great state park. They recognized me from our YouTube channel. Unfortunately, Todd can't be here. He's in Orlando working this weekend. But I would like to introduce you guys to Lisa and Luis. And they came and started talking to me and we just kind of hit it off. And I'm like, you know what? I've always been wanting to do a YouTube interview series. And so they agreed to it and we just thought this would be a great way to uh, have a fun little glamping friends experience. And they came up with the name, so I think this will be the first of hopefully a mini interview series called The Glamping Friends. Let's just start with a few basic questions, like uh, uh, if you guys care to share, like what do you do for a living? Ladies first. Um, I work for a company that does medical billing and software implementation. I manage probably 40 different physicians in their accounts and train their staff on our software system. And I've been doing that for years. And what I, about you, Luis? I work for an aerospace company uh, that builds satellite uh, systems, uh, air avionic systems for the Air Force and the military uh, and different uh, uh, clients uh, around the world that would select the company to do space equipment or sure. satellite systems like that. Sure, and you're talking very vaguely, so I'm assuming some of this is very top secret. It's, it's, it is. It's a lot of stuff. It is very, uh, very hush-hush, but yes. it, I mean, in general, it's, it's, it's what we yeah. do. That sounds yeah. really, really interesting, and, and I think you said something, too, about um, uh, uh, you're working on a project now for the, uh, I, I mean, it's safe to talk about it, I imagine, yeah, yeah. for the um, Orion? Orion, the Orion program, mm -hmm. I'm doing the harnesses, the communication harnesses for them, and uh, that's a very cool experience. Yeah. I, previous of this, I worked for the cable company, and mm -hmm. this is a whole new ball game for me, and yeah. I'm learning a lot, and it's very exciting that it's, it's that kind of stuff that I'm working on, so... Yeah, looking forward to see what else we're working. We're also working on the F-35. Okay. Uh, all the avionics. Uh, Lockheed is the one that sure. our company to sure. build the, the brains of the F-35. Sure. That's uh, an all of it. Exciting thing. Very cool. So so I have to ask, since you know all of this kind of top secret stuff going on in our government, <laughs> is it true about Area 51 and aliens? Well, I'm telling you, uh, if I tell you, I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate you guys answering that. This is uh, so, so far, this is, this is pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and of course, having a few cocktails <laughs> helps to... Uh, Lo loosen yes. loosen up the talking and this having some fun. And specials. Yes, we're having uh, strawberry limoncello martinis, frozen, of course. So I would like to know. So how you guys are obviously a couple. Um, how long have you guys been together, and kind of how how did you meet? Well, I will say uh, we've been together for eighteen uh, November will be nineteen years. Uh, out of those fourteen of those years, we've been married. Mm -hmm. Uh, then what we met? We met online. Online. Oh, okay. What website? It was actually the phone, A line. phone line. It was called Quest. Oh my back gosh! Back 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 when there were phone dates. Yes. I remember phone he dating. Phone to call me. Yeah. Oh my god, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah. We we're antiquating ourselves. Yes. yes oh yeah. We were way back. So you guys probably didn't even have a smartphone yet, did you? No. Or, or a cell phone I think in I had general. A yeah. We had a yeah had a pager. Uh, I yeah had a pager. pager. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> So, so who, I guess, who called who? Like, like how, how does something like that well, even work? The way it worked, it, she put an, uh, a, a voice ad, and you, you call the line, and, and they have all these ads in your area that you're interested in, and you listen to the ad. Mm -hmm. And then if it does interest you, 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 they give you a code, and that code connects you to her, and then you leave a message for that person. Oh, okay. And then in that message, you leave a phone number, and that's how we, we exchange numbers, and, and it went from there, and then we made, we made a date. And we at met. the time, he was living in Orlando. And at the time, I was living yeah. in Orlando, Lake Buena Vista, and she mm -hmm. was living in, in the Space, middle, Coast. Space Coast area. And, okay. And that came over, and mm -hmm. we had a date. Oh, there, cool. The rest is history. The yeah. rest is history. I mean, so, so where was your first date? Cape Canaveral. 
Oh, cool! The uh, Kennedy Space Center? No, or, or at the port. At the port, port Canal. We were supposed to uh -huh. go to Outback for dinner, and the wait was too long, so we ended up going to Bobby Rubino's, which is was across the street, and now it's closed. That is too funny. So even on the first date, you both had something in common already. You both hated like waiting in line. Yeah. Or waiting for a table in a restaurant. Yeah. So you just go down the street and go somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere else, yeah. yeah totally get it. Yeah. Totally get that. Well, that's really cool. Now, are, are you both Florida natives as well? No. I've been in Florida since 83. Mm -hmm. I was born in Iowa and raised in Indiana, Northwest Indiana, but my family moved in 83. So oh. I've been, well, actually 84. So I've been in Florida since 84, but uh, in the area that I'm mm -hmm. in, ever since I never left the area. Okay. You know, and oh my God, this, this is just, this interview is meant to happen because you just said Indiana. Yeah. And now I was going to start asking you some RV questions. And what is Indiana known it's for? All the, all the RVs. RVs. There you go. Yeah, so, so hey, perfect segue. Exactly. So, uh, what I would like to know then is uh, what type of RV do you own? Or RVs, or give me a little bit of history of well, the different RVs you've had. We have the Triple Tree, I mean the Triple T. The yeah. Triple T. Yeah. We started with the tent. Okay. Then we upgraded to a teardrop camper. Mm -hmm. And then from the teardrop camper, we got a... Uh, I pull up behind a travel trailer, uh, Grand Design. It's mm -hmm. an SLS uh, 18 RVE. It's uh, what the people more refer to as a couple's uh, camper. Okay. Uh, and it's perfect for us. For, mm -hmm. for the, we are weekend warriors, so we it's, it fits all the marks for what we need. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we love it. We are very impressed with the, with the Grand Design. And very much we so. love it. We love it. And we love Grand Design because Jason and Todd have a Grand Design, and we loved all of their videos on how wonderful Grand Design was and the warranty work that you had done and how amazing Grand Design was to work with. So customer it services. was the customer mm -hmm. service and <coughs> everything that we saw prior to getting ours was a big boost in why mm -hmm. we got Grand Design. Yes, definitely. That was a big, big uh, decision mm -hmm. making to help us out because of your output, yeah. your inputs on, on what do you guys experience. Yeah, you know, and, and it's funny how, you know, everything just kind of um, karmically happens because, you know, you're saying that we kind of helped you in your decision to go to a grand design. When we were looking for our grand design, the getaway couple, ah, yeah. you know, yeah. they, they helped us in, in our decision to get a grand design. And uh, so anyway, shout out to the getaway couple. Hi Jason, hi Ray. Yeah, hi guys, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> <laughs> what I would like to know next then, um, who kind of started the whole idea of the, you know, RV life, lifestyle, or, or just the weekend warrior camping, as you say. So Whose idea was it first? I think it's mostly hey, his. Um, when we first got together, we got a tent as a gift a long time ago, and we never used it. And then we, it sat in our garage forever and ever and ever, and then we decided to start camping. And so... Now what, was, um, sorry for interrupt, what kind of tent was it? Was it just like a tiny little tent, or was it, was it big, like it was one of those tent. elaborate pop-up kind of tents? Six -person it was tent. a six-person tent, because okay. even when we tented, we were still glamping, because mm -hmm. we had a king-size pop-up, I mean, a king-size air mattress. Mm -hmm with fans mm -hmm. and all the amenities of home, yeah. for lack of a better word. I've actually heard some people will actually get little portable AC, AC units. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did we didn't went to that far, but we camped during the cooler months. It was in the cooler months, so, so it really wasn't with necessary. A fan, with a fan, it was fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the only limitation you have with camping in a tent, is that you limit it for the cooler days. Yes. So in summertime, it gets kind of brutal. I mean, the people do it, but mm -hmm. that, that was, too rough for us. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we call yeah. it glamping for yes. us because we only did it in the cooler months. Yes. So we tented for about a season and then we started looking at alternatives that were um, a little bit more, not permanent, but mm -hmm. gave us more options mm -hmm. to camp, longer, more seasons. And he had the idea of getting a teardrop and we shopped around for different teardrops. We were looking at various R-Pod, I think R-Pod, is that what it was called? R-Pods? We looked at all the different kinds of smaller because mm -hmm. we still wanted to be able to tow it with our vehicle and we mm -hmm. still wanted to be able to keep it at home. Yeah, um, we didn't want to pay for storage. We, so, yeah. it, 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 so it was actually the manufacturers called R-Pod? 
Our pod is, is one of the manufacturers that we were looking at. Yeah. Okay. And that's the one that you got? No, no we whatever. actually ended up with a white water retro. It was white with the blue stripe, mm -hmm. all the light color wood inside. And it was perfect for us because the inside was a queen size bed shelter air conditioning tv and then it had a galley kitchen in the back on the and the, the hatchback of the teardrop open up to the galleys and it was perfect it served mm -hmm. its purpose it was it was a a, a step up from tenting of like, course you have, to, you have to worry about the elements with the mm -hmm. rain the heat mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the cold or mm -hmm. sleeping on the floor mm -hmm. with the creatures and things like yeah. that so it keeps you off the floor yeah. but it's still a lot yeah. of the living is outside of it yes. Yes. yes all it is is to sleep inside it's only yes. shelter you have to set up your kitchen outside yes and you're hanging outside so for us it was a step up from camp from mm -hmm. tenting, from tenting. Mm -hmm. but it was not quite the rrv it was yeah it was better than tent. now did you guys camp when you were kids oh, yes, yes. i camped i was okay. in girl scouts i camped with them i camped with my family we had a motor home mm -hmm. so yeah i camped my entire okay yeah, growing me too. Up. i was in the civil air patrol and we did a lot of camping and uh, encampments and cool so it was kind of like in, in both of your blood and yeah so you had this yeah, tent just not being used in the garage mm -hmm. and so you guys just decided one day to hey let's go do some tent camping. Yep. Never we had out. everything. We just never, never went, went out. out. And yeah. Then one day I said, let's just yeah. do it. And and what was um I, I don't think um you, you mentioned uh, or maybe I didn't hear, but um what was the first place that you went tent camping at? The first park. Tomoka. The first one? No. Was, yeah. For, Tomoka was the first one. Tomoka. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's over on uh, the Atlantic Beach. side of Florida, yeah. correct? Ormond Beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In just north of Daytona. Okay. And then it was Anastasia, and that's when we fell in love with Anastasia. Anastasia okay. Yeah. yeah. That's our favorite. That's in St. Augustine. Oh, well, the state park. Okay. That's our favorite. Mm -hmm. And then that just lasted, what, for a couple of years, and then what, I guess you just kind of... We had the teardrop for about eight months. Yeah. Okay. Not even a year. Okay. Not even a year. And okay. We knew, we knew that we outgrew it really quick. Yes. And, and we loved the lifestyle. We yes. Really, we loved the, the, the camping, not, not on a tent, the, the glamping. Yes. Yeah. Sure. We we start seeing the bigger rigs yes. and how convenient it was to have their own shower inside. Sure. And the bathroom and if it was raining or it was too cold, you could stay inside mm -hmm. and being able to play your ball games, I mean mm -hmm. board games on the yeah. table instead yes. of being outside in the camping. Uh, what is it? The picnic, the picnic table. table. Yeah. Oh, so, so you guys, you guys even like playing board games yes. and yeah. stuff too. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, this wasn't one of my questions, but I think I'm going to write this down for a future interview. So, what are some of your favorite board games? Board? Favorite, favorite is, uh, is I mean, table game. It will be Uno. It's Uno. A, it's yeah, hard. not board games. We love Uno. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So, so all in all, then it was it was pretty much a mutual decision. Back yeah. to the main question: yeah. Yeah. Who's who? Who? So ideal was it it was yeah. very mutual yeah. it was pretty much in your blood at first it was more his mm -hmm. and then i came on board but okay yeah the next thing i'd like to know since since you guys are now on your your third t your trailer <laughs> uh and obviously um you guys are having a blast do you guys have you guys started talking about like your bucket list like places that you want to go that you haven't been to yet. Basically, for me, the bucket list is visiting the national parks: uh, uh, Yellowstone, you know, Yosemite, uh, Glacier. All, all those parks for me will be the, the the bucket list. But we also would like eventually, when we finish with our careers and be done with it, is going full time. Definitely going full time. It will be in a different kind of kind of uh, RV. Mm -hmm. Definitely it will be more like a class. Like I like the super C's. That's mm -hmm. that's the that's mm -hmm. the goals hashtag the hashtag mm -hmm. goals. Mm -hmm. So for us, it, it, yeah, definitely we have a bucket list. Uh, yeah, we have places that we would like to visit. Go to go to the national parks. So on, in, as long as we're talking about bucket list, I never had a desire to go anywhere outside of the U.S but a lot of the families that we follow have gone to Alaska and some of the footage in travels that we viewed on YouTube with them going to Alaska has kind of put a little burning spirit in me to want to go to Alaska not it's kind of like I would love to if I had an opportunity definitely that was never there before and then I never have been in the northeast like up in Maine Vermont I've never been up in that area so mm -hmm. I would love to camp up there because I think seeing fall in that kind of time would be really cool as well. Not winter, but fall. Late summer, early fall. Uh, now we're going to get into um, 
uh, a little bit more about um, some of the likes and the dislikes right. over this four years being from you know you guys are kind of actually more seasoned I think than other people even in the short four years you've been RVing uh, because yeah. you have tent camped you have had a teardrop and now you're in a, in a larger trailer so what would you say some of your likes and your dislikes have been so far you go overall, first. overall, for me, the light, the likes is like, the, like I said, the disconnect, the, the looking forward to get out of the grind and, and go camping, finding the new places, the state parks, the, the facilities, the little towns, the mom and pops restaurants that we like to visit and, and, and give an opportunity for those small businesses to, to you know, to, to grow. To grow. I love my camper. That, that definitely, I, it, sure. it, it was the it, sure. out of the purchase I ever done in my life. That sure. that I, our money is very well spent, and I'm very pleased with it. Because oh, you know, pe you know, people like to hear a little drama too. Yeah. So it's you know, right, what what what's what's some of the drama oh, you've had drama, to deal with? The drama. Well, the, this last weekend we had Hurricane Dorian come yep. to our great state of Florida, yep. and uh, uh, we had to be uh, we had to leave the the area that we live. Uh, it was going to make almost direct in, uh, impact to us there. So we went to the west coast of Florida, and we spent seven days in our in our camper. And that 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 it we, was a test. We, it was a test, definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so it, that was the longest, because usually you guys to, usually yeah. just do like th days. three, four days at the most, correct, right? Correct, yeah. At the most. And this was seven days, and seven days that it became a point that we we knew that. We started to get into each yeah, other. Yeah, it was not only seven days. It was seven days of oh, high intensity stress yeah. and, and in a in a, in a in a non normal situation. Well, yeah, of course, yeah. It had nothing yeah. to do with the length of the time. It was the the situation. The situation. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. there, there was obviously there there was a her, uh, crazy Cat yeah. Five hurricane yeah. knocking on our door, yeah. Yeah. and no one really knew where it was specifically going to go. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, the science has gotten way better. You know, they can kind of give you a good good projection but until that last 48 hours yeah, yeah, you just crazy. you just don't really know where it's yeah. going to actually hit yeah my likes are very similar to his i love our camper i think we did an amazing job with our purchase and i love grand design and the family of grand design every time we're out we meet other grand design owners and that's piggybacking on my likes is meeting friends who have become like what I call family, mm -hmm. friends that have become family, not mm -hmm. only other grand design owners, but fellow campers mm -hmm. that you meet just randomly and you find out that you have such a connection and you become friends. Mm -hmm. And we had an opportunity to meet a couple last year at a meetup that have become amazing friends. We've met you guys, we've met other fellow YouTubers, um, other fellow campers and that gives us something to look forward to in our travels meeting other people um, my dislikes personally is just the typical if it's hot and humid in the bugs um, which you can't really help that much but thank God for thermosel if you haven't used thermosel it's amazing um, what what is that like a bug repellent? Thermosel is a it's a unit that you have that it's a bug repellent, but it's amazing. Because so, I hate the bugs too, and yeah. I hate bug spray even more. Thermosel yeah, is, is amazing. so I would rather get bit than have to put on that yes, gross no, smelling if bug you spray. You don't wear it. It's no. it's a aerial, it looks like a walkie talkie. Yeah, and it has a, a, a heating element in there, and then there's these pads in there that you put in there, and that heat element heat element warms up that pad so it plugs in yes yeah. no it's like or like igniter. batteries it's an igniter like a butane it has a butane propane and a butane uh, liquid there okay and that what makes it the flame oh okay the and they have and them for so it takes person. what like a car a butane Basically, cartridge yes. yes okay so they have them for your person they have a lantern they mm -hmm. have tiki torches they have various different styles yeah. okay. we were camping and yeah. one of our neighbors saw us struggling with citronella and lanterns and he's like you guys got to get these we literally ran to walmart that trip and got them and we were sold ever since so yeah, yeah. so so and, and so you can actually put them 
like outside, like on your table yeah, or so whatever, like but you can also it, attach them to you? Well, you it can. Clips. It clips. But they clip. Yeah. yeah. It clips like if you're walking. It's like a walkie-talkie. Wow. Yeah. On you. So like when oh we my God, that's the table, amazing. we put a citronella underneath us, but we have this the thymocell lantern that yes. sits on the table. Okay. And then we have them sitting, the individual ones okay. sitting next to us at the same time. This yeah. is such a fun interview and we're getting to learn stuff, yeah. everybody. Yeah. My dislike, besides the bugs, my only other dislike, I have two other dislikes is I just like travel days because it just takes forever to get there because you have to drive super slow. Mm -hmm. And then my other dislike, it was hard at first getting used to an RV shower when you don't have full hookups, but I think I've mastered the RV shower. So it's not that bad now, oh, but I could wow. see how it's intimidating oh, no. to some people when you don't have full hookups and you've got to watch, you know, the measurements of your tank. Yes, so yes. It. I would like to know so far in your four years of travel, uh, does a favorite place come to mind so far? Like definitely. a favorite, a favorite state park? Yes, definitely. Favorite, favorite, favorite bar none for me, my opinion, in her opinion, is uh, San Ana Anastasia State Park okay. in uh, San Diego State. Okay, and and can, can you just tell me in a few words, like what, why is that your favorite? Why? It's through Florida. You have your you have access to the beach, where the camp the campsites are. It's all in the woods. It's very so private. You, you, the sites are private. The sites private, are spacious. Very spacious. The facilities are very clean, mm -hmm. and it's only two miles away from downtown San Diego State. So, if you like the the, the lifestyle of, of hanging out on bars or or the nightlife or you just or history, all the history, or history of, yeah. exactly. of Florida that is is originally yeah. there, that's I mean the the, the what, what the the modern history mm -hmm. it started in San Agustin. Okay, so now it's time for uh, some, some quick like just one answer questions. Right. These are going to be really fun and just to let you guys know they have no idea what the questions ah, are. No. So we're going to be getting like true reactions. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, give me a couple of your favorite YouTube channels real fast. Glamping Guys, I'm Not Lost, I'm Irving, Finding Your Someday. Let's jump. KYD, Less Junk More Journey, Nomadic Fanatic. All right. Um, so you, you know your YouTube yeah. channels. Oh, yeah. You go. So, toilet paper, over or under? Under. Over. Under. Over. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be and why? I can very easily answer that. I would be a big willow tree with a lot of moss just because I feel that they've been around forever and they just like cover everybody and they're a good source of protection and they're very beautiful to look at always. That's funny that I kind of the same way but with a white oak. White oak is, is a big tree. It puts a lot of shade and, and it has a lot of character because of the way okay. that the branches branch. Okay. Up. And actually, um, that this this is a question that's actually um, asked a lot uh, in job interviews, uh, and uh, which I found interesting because it kind of shows a person's character. And uh, apparently, a lot of psychologists say that this is one of the best questions you can ask someone at a job interview, oh, interesting. Uh, interesting. because because it it, it, it kind of really delves you into their character, just how they perceive themselves as a tree. Right. So if someone defines themselves as a cactus, you know, hard and prickly, you would not want to hire them. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. 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 So who, who is the messiest? That depends. It's me. But it's not messy. It's just disheveled. It's not messy, like dirty, filthy, yeah, it's just, just dis like stuff everywhere. Um, um, stuff everywhere. Chaotically organized. Yes. 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 Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Favorite food? Um, for, for you. I would say tacos or pizza. For me, it's uh, Chinese. Okay. Favorite candy? Candy. Uh, low pop. Anything chocolate and peanut butter. Favorite cocktail? Ooh, this is my new fave, I think. Um, but I'm a wino at heart. Okay. 43 with orange juice. 43, the core 43 and orange juice. Yeah, and white or red wine? Red. Red. 
perfect. You probably like it because of less maintenance with red. I prefer red because you don't have to like deal with refrigerating it I and stuff. I just became a red connoisseur within mm -hmm. the last two and a half years. Okay. So I, like I just like the flavor. Okay. I like Moscato de Aste. Okay. I like the bubbly, but I like the sweetness. So sure. Oh, look at you one. getting all fancy over yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite actor. Oh, I, I, my favorite actor is going to be Benicio Del Toro. Al Pacino. Who, who's like your actor crush? Actor or actress? Oh, well, hey, that's my her and both. My actress, girl crush is Jessica Alba. My boy crush is probably The Rock. Okay, so I'm just going to let you guys wrap up the video and you can do the outro for us today. There you go. Uh, I just well, want to say thank you for watching and giving us your time. And thank you, Jason and Todd, for giving us this opportunity. We had fun. Wish you could have met you. We wish we could have met you, Todd. Um, we hope to see you all out on the road one day. If you see us, come say hi. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And Jason will get back to you. Have a glampalicious day. Awesome. Can you say it? Glampalicious day. <laughs> Have a glam delicious day. Have a glam delicious day. day. Ciao. <laughs> Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you.